Okay guys, so right now we're going to be talking about the three items that I recommend from the cash shop. Um, now these aren't necessarily something that you need, but if you wanted to spend money on something in Fantasy Star Online 2, this is what I recommend. So we're just gonna get right to it. This video is going to be fairly short. So we're gonna go to the AC shop. We're gonna go to purchase the inventory. The first thing I recommend is the premium set. Now, 90 days, if you can afford it, I do recommend this because this is going to save you, I would say, a lot of money. This is gonna save you 15 bucks because if 90 days, three months, instead of spending 15 bucks for this or whatever, you're going to be spending 10 bucks a month for this. And I believe this is worth it because you get the gold pass and you also get um, access for a personal shop. Now, I think that's one of the biggest things that, you know, makes it worth it is just a personal shop so now you can bring in a steady stream of income in this game you can start selling things that you get maybe i'll have a sewing guide i've only been playing for like two and a half weeks and i've been doing pretty good i spend i spend too much machetta um i think i make about two to three million machetta a day and i spend half of that or whatever so <laughs> uh anyway so the second item is actually a mag ticket so you're gonna need a couple of these or whatever especially if you're gonna have all your classes on one character because you only get one mag per character which is sad it's annoying um if anything's pay to win this stupid thing right here is kind of pay to win which is annoying right so but that i recommend i do not recommend the mag reset device i don't know why it's more expensive than the mag ticket that's stupid um, inventory expansion. This would this would probably be my number one to get some of these. Now you can have up to ten of these, maxing your inventory out at a total of 150. They are 10 slot expansions a piece. So to get all 10, it's going to be like $35. But that's nothing for people like me that come from Black Desert. You know, we drop a hundred, 150. You know, 150, I think 200 every new character that we make. Like, I like that's just crazy to me. When I go back and look at my purchase history and I think about that, I'm just like, Jesus, what was I doing? But those are the three items that I recommend. I'm going to give you guys a bonus item. Now, mind you guys, you do not need to purchase these um with real money because they give you a crap load of star gems right but in the star gem area the one thing i do is i buy a crap load of these salon passes and that way you can keep your drip up to date you know what i mean you see my new drip this is the way i look today i'm not gonna look this way um yeah i'm not gonna look like this later guys like i'm i'm gonna change it i just I wanted to make the biggest robot I could, but apparently I need better parts that allow him to be even bigger. And the parts that I want will probably run me about, I would say, 30 million machetta to get that look. So at some point, I'll probably save up 30 million and I'll get that look. But until then, I'm probably going to switch my character to more of a humanoid type android type thing or back to the um android that you see on the other video so peace out guys i hope this video helped you guys um there really isn't much more than those three items to fantasy star online and also i'll tell you some more stuff about the premium pass so the premium thing is going to give you access to this the gold pass pretty much unlocks this now the cool thing about this is this is a daily login thing and you usually get the purple one for free right but it's that gold row that you get with the um premium right the gold pass that allows you to pretty much unlock all this stuff and it's so much extra stuff it's uh, extra costumes outfits and stuff like that so you can get your drip right right because some of you guys you guys ain't you guys just ain't dripping on here you know you come on here and you looking all sorts of crazy or whatever so this is going to allow you or whatever to have some costumes they have stuff for men and women here so don't get discouraged or whatever like this is actually a better solution than spending money on scratch tickets and gambling stuff so that is something that's really cool another thing the premium does is it increase your quest quest i should say client orders from 20 maximum to 40 so as you can see i'm at 22 client orders out of 40 or whatever and it feels so good guys oh my god you guys don't even know this thing is like a lifesaver okay i i was just so aggravated with the cap right so that's the biggest thing you're gonna run into as a free-to-play player just having 20 quests quest cap 
Wow, I almost stumbled up on that. I couldn't even pronounce that right, guys. And then the 150 inventory thing is like night and day. Holy crap, it makes you it makes you feel like you can just pick stuff up forever. But trust me, you're going to still be at maximum capacity because that's just how it is. No matter how much inventory space you have, you're going to acquire enough items or whatever to fill it up. So peace out, guys. Hope you guys like this video. I'm out. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below.